Hey guys, we're in the shop and um, I got a little project that I'm going to undertake. Got this Craftsman Atlas 12 by 36 lathe. And one of the problems that a lot of people have a lot of gripes about with this lathe is the feed speeds are a little bit fast. Um, even at the slowest feed rate, um, it's uh, 4.2 thousandths per revolution. Um, and that's a little bit fast. So there's been, uh, you know, some discussion about slowing it down. Uh, I watched a video that Tubal Cain had put on about what he did, and basically he added a motor on the other end of the lathe to drive it separate from this and he just disengages uh, the gearing over here and lets the motor on that end drive this and in turn drive this and he can vary the speed and um, I was going to do that but I kept thinking there's got to be another way there's got to be another way and I was looking at the gearing and everything, and I was actually looking in the right spot, but I, I just couldn't come up with the, the right solution. And I was uh, doing some research online, and I come across a man, his name is Bruce, and he actually figured it out, and he shared the information with me, and... Uh, well, he shared the information with someone else, and he gave them permission to share the information um, with the community. And so I'm just going to pass the information along as I try to do it. Anyway, I'm trying to go ahead and show you how fast this thing rolls along. We're not, we're not turning a real fast spindle speed, but relatively. Um, this is as slow as this carriage will move right now. So you can kind of watch this handle as it goes around. That'll kind of give you an indication as to how slow that is.
Okay, so basically now we're looking at the back of the of the um, spindle, and this is where the collet attachment goes through, and this gear that's up here, which is right there, is the first gear that comes off from the belt drive. Here's your belt drive. Your chuck goes right here. Spindle down. There's your gear. Okay, these next two gears right here is for your forward and reverse lever. Okay, we're not going to do anything with these two gears. We're not going to do anything with this next gear that's down here. We're going to replace this gear right here. This mounted to the banjo. We're going to replace this one gear with two gears. We're going to make it a compound gear and one of those two gears is going to be a 32 tooth gear and the other one is going to be a 64 tooth gear. Then we're going to also replace these two gears that are side by side. These two gears are going to be replaced with a 54 tooth gear. So you'll have a 54 tooth gear here and a 54 tooth gear here. And that is going to change our gear ratio by half. Let's see if we can get it done. Okay, I got the gears changed out. Let's turn it on. They are a little noisy. I may not have them quite adjusted right now. You can definitely tell the difference on the feed rate. Definitely tell the difference when you use this. Quietens them gears down considerably. Anyway, it seems to be working pretty good. Bring you over here and show you the gear train. Okay, um, that's basically how it ended up. Now, originally, I did make a boo-boo when I ordered these gears. Um, th originally, there was two gears right here side by side. I think they were 28 tooth. And when I read the instructions, I went on the assumption that you had to replace both these but in actuality, you're, take, you're removing one and just using one gear. And that gear is a 54 tooth gear. We added this large gear, which is a 64 tooth gear. And it's running off this stock gear. And then up inside of here, I don't know if you can see that or not, but... Right beside this gear, up inside here, we've installed a 32 tooth gear. That 32 tooth gear engages this gear. This gear engages the gearbox. So we got 32 in here, we got 64 here. That cuts the gear ratio in half. 32 divided into 64 is 2. So that cuts the rear gear reduction in half. 
The only reason why this gear was changed um, to a larger gear was to gain clearance for this gear against this shaft right here. Now, if you notice, this extended nut used to go back here and was the adjustment nut for this gear to slide up and down so that you could slide the gear that was here in and out. This gear hits this when it's back here where it goes. So what I did, I took the nut that was here and moved it back here and took this and moved it up here and I don't think it's going to be in the way of anything and that way I won't lose it and it'll, it'll always be there. I may machine a spacer too to go up over top of this. Probably not necessary, but I don't know. I have to think about that. But it does it does seem to work. So what I ended up doing, I ended up buying one gear too many. Um, but hey, you know, I, I was trying to go by you know what I had instructions I was reading online and it was kind of vague since it was two gears there I assumed I needed two gears but you can see the, 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 the slowest feed rate that's the slowest feed rate right there zero zero four two per revolution and we've cut that in half now so now we're at point zero zero two one per revolution considerably slower um, we should be able to do some uh, better finish you know better finishing cuts that type of thing so anyway if you found this uh, video interesting and um, you've got a craftsman 12 by 36 lathe like this and you're trying to get it to slow down a little bit that's that's an option I tell you this uh, open rope and gear lube that I use it, it's excellent as far as quieting down the gears but it's also excellent for picking up everything that comes along because it's sticky and it everything that comes along sticks to it um, I mean chips and everything else I'm really not sure if if it was a good idea or not to use that stuff I may end up backtracking and cleaning all that out of there it, it, it it's and it's it's black and it makes a mess I mean it really makes a mess if you get it on you I mean you see that it's thick it's sticky um, but I guess that's why it works I had some other stuff that I was using it uh, had Teflon in it and it might be up on that shelf up there somewhere uh, I don't see it I think oh, I think it's a can right there and it worked pretty good yeah DuPont Teflon multi-use lubricant I put that on there at one time and it I mean it's it's definitely cleaner it's uh you know see it's just clear you know it's definitely cleaner man i need to clean them ways up don't but i got a mess in here gotta get all this cleaned up anyway thanks for watching all uh, right one other thing just real quick um when you do this modification, one of the things that's going to change is your threading. You can still thread, and you can still use the chart, this threading chart right here. But say, for instance, if you want to thread a 20, you need to set this for a 10. Because everything is cut in half. If you want to thread a 10, you need to set it for 5. So, basically, uh, you know, 
if you want an 80 thread, you do a 40, and they give you the 80. If you want a 40, you do the 20, it'll give you the 40. So you can't do, you won't be able to do really uh, big threads, like a 5. Um, because, you know, it's not going to go down that low. Of course, you can always change and put the gears back on there and, and do it like that. But, um, anyway, I just thought it was worth mentioning because I know somebody out there is going to say, but you just messed up your threading. And they're right. I did, to a degree, mess up my threading uh, capabilities. But, um, you know, it's divided exactly in half. And so you just divide a thread chart in half and go to the, to that corresponding uh, setup and thread that way. And then if you get to a thread that you have got to have and it's, you can't do it with those gears, then you just change back the gears. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of combination of gear of threading that you can do. And... Um, you know, still not have to uh, change the gears. So, back to what they were. Anyway, I uh, hope that helps. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.